DreamHack is the biggest computer festival in the world. It's uh, held twice per year in Jönköping in Sweden. And we sold 8,300 uh, computer seats, which means that the, the uh, festival goers bring their own computers and they all hook up in the biggest uh, spontaneous network in the world. And uh, that's what I would really call infrastructure that we build for four days. And for that, we need the, the biggest broadband you possibly could imagine. This is a unique uh, thing that the people that is in DreamHack is going to experience. Uh, 40 gigabit, first time in Scandinavia, this is enormous. Last time it was DreamHack we were delivering 10 gigabit, within one and a half hour it was used for 5.5 gigabit. Now we have 40 gigabit, a lot more application, a lot more player, this is a unique opportunity. Uh, I think it's uh, a real nice thing. I, I don't even have that so much myself, so it's a new experience, I could say. It's wonderful. Couldn't be any better. I think it's splendid. It's very, very uh, fast, so I can play fast. It's really good. Yeah, so what we're seeing here is Cisco's major and biggest router, and actually it's the biggest router in the world, the CRS-1. So it has capacity to actually drive one billion of people doing net, net gaming and here at this occasion it's a big thing but it's only 10,000 people. This is a lot of capacity. We are having one CRS1 installed in Jönköping and one in Stockholm. We are using a very advanced laser technique to transmit the signal from uh, Jönköping up to Stockholm. We are also having, since we have the biggest uh, CRS1 router that exists in the world or the biggest router in the world, we need a lot of uh, fan power to cool the electronics off. So we are actually using the same kind of cooling that the Swedish fighter jet Gripen is using. There, the signal either exits out into the public internet or it goes to a local uh, gaming server and then back to John Sherp in the same way it came in less than one millisecond. I think the main driver is our, the customer's demand for higher bandwidth. And that's coming from live animation like YouTube, it's from real-time gaming and also a demand in the family where we are many people using our computers in one spot and that needs more and more bandwidth. It's uh, wonderful. It's the greatest I have ever played with. You look happy then. <laughs>